Apple is now beta testing iOS 16.1. Here's everything new in the inaugural beta. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and despite the fact that Apple has just released iOS 16 to everybody of earlier this week on Monday, Apple's out with the first beta of iOS 16.1. So I've gone ahead, downloaded iOS 16.1 on my testing device, and I'm gonna walk you through all of the new features and changes that will be arriving with iOS 16.1 later this year. The first change with iOS 16.1 is editing the lock screen. So now when I go in to edit a lock screen and I tap on customize, it will immediately ask me whether I want to customize the lock screen or the home screen. So I can choose either or. I can jump here into the lock screen, change the background color, add a gradient, attach a photo, anything like that. I can hit done or going back into customize, I can choose the lock screen itself where I can attach things like widgets, customize the font color, change the background, all of that. A second thing that's changed is down here at the bottom. It no longer asks you which focus mode you'd like to connect to a lock screen. If we look at iOS 16, you can see there was that focus mode button down there at the bottom. That button has removed inside of 16.1. Instead, if you want to tie a focus mode to your lock screen, you have to go into settings and then into focus mode and then choose one of your focuses. From here, you have these customized screen options. This was like that in iOS 16.0, but what's different is now I can choose multiple lock screens. So I can choose multiple at once, and before I could only choose one. Now, either of these lock screens can enable this focus. That's new here in 16.1. Speaking of settings, let's go ahead and look inside of settings, then general. CarPlay used to be linked together with AirDrop, AirPlay Handoff, and Picture in Picture. Now it's been moved into its own little combination with a new option, Matter Accessories. Jumping into Matter Accessories just gives you this. Right now there are none. You can tap on Edit to remove any that were added. And Apple does say that you'll need a profile to be able to use Matter Accessories. That could just be during the beta, maybe not the full release, but Apple is prepping Matter for a full release this fall, possibly aligning with iOS 16.1. Inside of Settings, again, if we go into Battery, two things. First, battery percentage. Battery percentage was previously limited. It wouldn't work on mini sized iPhones, but with 16.1, it does. So now you can add that battery percentage on the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 13 mini, and it also works on the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 10R. The other change to battery, if we go to battery health and charging, we have a new option for clean energy charging. This will reduce your charging in different times of the day when there's reduced emphasis on the grid to help improve your energy footprint, your carbon footprint, um, by using this clean energy charging option. When you take a screenshot in iOS 16.1 and you bring this up, when you're done, you go hit done, this menu has moved. It used to be located down here in the lower left hand corner. Now it is located to the top. You can save photos, save to files, save to quick note, copy, then delete the screenshot or just delete the screenshot altogether. The last thing is the wallet application can now be deleted. You can remove the wallet app from your iPhone before that stock app could not be removed. If you do remove it, you can re-download it again from the App Store. So I'm not signed into iCloud on my iPhone that I'm running iOS 16.1 on, but when I move to my iPad, you can see that the shared photo library is back. I can create a iCloud shared photo library, share with family members, other people, all the rules that go along with it, where you can have them automatically shared to the shared library from the camera roll or based on location or contents of the photo. It's very neat, but this was all added here um, back again in 16.1. It was not available in iOS 16 at launch. So that covers it. That is the first beta of iOS 16.1. What do you think of these new changes? And have you spotted any other differences? Let me know down below in the comments or better yet on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And stay tuned. I have a lot more coverage of iOS 16 and iOS 14 in the coming days.